Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will understand the difference between SAP specific objects and customer specific objects. SAP is a product. SAP has lots of predefined objects available. Suppose SAP gave lots of tables, lots of programs, function, module, classes. Now, on top of that, we are developing our own objects based upon the customer requirement. Suppose customer gave a requirement which is not available in SAP product. So we will create our own object will create our own table, own programs, own function module, own classes, whatever the requirement is there. Now the question comes, how we can distinguish between SAP specific objects and customer specific objects, which we will create. Now, whenever you will create your own objects in SAP on top of SAP software, the first name will start with Z or Y. Now, if the name is not starting with Z or Y, it means those are SAP specific objects. We cannot do anything with those objects. We can use those objects, yes. But whenever we will create our own objects, we will always give the name starting with Z or Y. Suppose I will go for an example. This is SC11 transaction code, transaction code for data dictionary. Suppose I am giving the name of the table VBAK. Now it is a SAP table. It is not our table. We have not created this table because the first name is not starting with Z or Y. It starts with V. So this is the way to distinguish between SAP specific objects and customer specific objects. In the upcoming videos, whenever we will start creating the objects, we will always give the name starting with Z or Y. So that's it. In this particular video, we will continue the remaining topics in the upcoming videos. Thank you.